Welcome to English Radio Barranquilla. Bienvenidos a English Radio Barranquilla. Last week, we talked about the zoo. We learned about many different animals and their natural habitats. This week, let's talk about celebrations here in Colombia and around the world. Hello. 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 Hello? Linda, how are you? It's your old friend Laura from university. Laura, fantastic. How are you? It's so good to hear from you. Are you still teaching English as a second language at that high school in New York? I sure am. Actually, that's why I'm calling you. I want to ask you if you would like to help me with a project. Of course. Anything to help you. You helped me so much back in college When we were taking our education courses together, we would study together all the time. Oh, yes, I remember. I miss those days. We had a lot of fun. Absolutely. Listen, Linda, I am thinking about doing a project where our students exchange letters, like pen pals. My students here in New York can write letters to send to Barranquilla. Then your students can respond and send their letters to my students. That sounds fantastic. I love it. Perfect. I'm excited to see what they say. So, how's everything in Barranquilla? Well, everything is great. I really love it here. The city is so vibrant and exciting, and the people are really friendly. Oh, that's fantastic. I need to come visit you. Of course you do. When can you come to visit? Well, I don't know. Hopefully soon. I'll let you know. Yes. When you come, we'll do so many fun things. Perfect. Okay. Well, I have to go, but I'll keep you updated on the letters. Excellent. Have a great day, Laura. You too, Linda. Activity 1 Now is the moment to complete Activity 1. Es momento de completar la actividad 1. Select the best option. Selecciona la mejor opción. Number 1. How do Laura and Miss Linda know each other? Number two, what does Laura teach at high school? Number three, where does Laura live? Talking to Laura makes me feel a little homesick. I love living here in Barranquilla, but I miss my mom and my family in New York a lot. Let me see how my mom is doing. <phone rings> Hello? Mom? Can you hear me? Hi, Melinda. How are you? You never call me anymore. Oh, yes, I do. We talk three times a week. No, no, mi amor. That's not enough. You should call me every day. Okay, okay, Mom. You're right. How are you? How is everything in New York? Everything is great, Melinda. Your father and I are very happy because we want to retire soon. Your father is ready to stop working. Really? But Dad loves working as a dentist. Why does he want to stop working? Oh, you know, cariño, we are ready to relax. We want to come visit you in Colombia and enjoy our time together. Ah, okay, I understand. Mi niña, are you coming home for Christmas this year? Yes, I miss you. I want to see my family. What are you doing for Christmas this year? Bueno, we want to rent a cabin in the forest for us and your siblings. We want to spend the week there and play games like Monopoly and Uno. I love Uno. I know you do. You always win every game we play. <laughs> well, you know, I'm the best. What else can we do? We can cook together. I have a lot of new and delicious recipes. That sounds great. Do you think it will be cold this winter? Of course. It will be cold. Hopefully it snows on Christmas Day. I love a white Christmas. Snow. Oh, so cold. I'm starting to love the hot weather here in Barranquilla. Oh, really? Well, you can wear a lot of sweaters and jackets when you visit. Okay, that sounds good. Do you know that here in Colombia they celebrate Christmas at night on December 24th? My cousin Jose told me that they celebrate in a different way here. In the morning, 
morning on December the 25th. Exactly. It's interesting to see how different the two cultures are. Así es. Here on December the 24th, we go to sleep early and wake up and Santa Claus brings us our presents. Then we open the presents together with the family, eat breakfast and celebrate and have dinner with your aunts and uncles and grandparents. That's true. Here, Jose said that they open presents on December 24th, the day before. I remember that when I live in Colombia. Oh, I love the Dia de las Velitas when I was a little girl. What's that? Oh, it's a beautiful celebration on December the 7th. People get together to light candles all over the country. It's a day to be with family and friends and listen to music, share with one another. Oh, that sounds really nice. It is. I'm excited for you to experience it. Yes, me too. And I'm excited to see you over the holidays, Mom. I love you. I love you too, cariño. Cuídate mucho and don't forget to call me more often. Of course, Mom. I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Activity 2. Now is the moment to complete the activity. Es momento de completar la actividad. Match the correct response to the questions. Relaciona la respuesta correcta a la pregunta. Number one. Do you enjoy playing in the snow? Number two. What is your favorite celebration in Colombia? Number three. Do you celebrate Christmas with your family? Number four. How often do you see your extended family, aunts, uncles, and grandparents? Number five. What gift do you want to receive this year during the holidays? What's your favorite celebration? Hi, my name is Juranis, and my favorite celebration is Christmas. I love spending time with my family. My mom and dad cook the dinner and my brothers and sisters like to decorate the Christmas tree. We have so much fun. The whole family eat snacks and give presents to each other. I love this celebration because it gives people the chance to pause and reflect on the important things around us. Hi, my name is Laura Bernal and my favorite celebration I think it's the Candles Day. Yeah, for sure. It's on December 7th for me. Some people do it on December 8th at the morning. I love this day, this celebration specifically, because it's just a Colombian celebration. You can't found it on another country. I mean, you know how special it is for me? I mean, that's my childhood. I love it. So you can see people dancing on their houses or on the streets, I don't know. A lot of candles, music, childs running everywhere. Just enjoy the music, the vibe, because it's a really good vibe that you get in and you remember these days all your life. I mean, now I remember all my um, candles days from my childhood and that's the most beautiful moments that I live. My favorite celebration is Christmas. It was my my mom's favorite celebration too. Um, so she taught uh, she taught my siblings and me to celebrate. We usually decorate our house with Christmas lights and ornaments, and it took previous days to prepare the house, and we buy gifts, especially for the kids. Because we want our our children uh, to to do the same as a family tradition, you know. We usually share food and give present and give present each other, especially to the kids, you know. So it's a very celebration, a very special celebration, not only for me, but for all my family. All right, class, good morning. How are you all? Good morning, Miss Linda. I have something exciting to tell you. 
My friend Miss Laura is a teacher from New York, and she wants her students to be your pen pals. Do you know what a pen pal is? No idea, Miss. What is it? A pen pal is a friend that you meet by writing letters to them. The idea is they send you letters, and you respond, and vice versa. Look, I have all of your letters here. Gio, can you help me pass them out to all of the students? Of course, Miss. Thank you. All of your pen pals are students from different countries all over the world. Miss Laura teaches English as a second language to students from countries like Japan, Mexico, Rwanda, China, Haiti, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and more. They all wrote letters about their experience living in the United States and what their favorite celebrations are from their home countries. Oh, my pen pal is from India. Excellent, Guillo. What does your letter say? Can you read it to the class? It's from Camilla. She says, Dear Guillo, my name is Camilla and I am from New Delhi, India. But now I live with my family in New York. I like living here, but it is very different from my life in India. There are so many changes. My little brother loves it here and even plays on the school's baseball team. My mom has new friends and my dad likes his new job working as an engineer. I like my new school and our teacher, Miss Laura. She is very nice. One of my favorite celebrations from India is Diwali. It is a festival of new beginnings and the triumph of good over evil and light over darkness. It is usually in October or November and it's very beautiful. We celebrate for five days and we light candles, oil lamps, and fireworks to light up the night sky. And then we eat with our friends and family. It's a lot of fun. What is your favorite celebration in Colombia? Fantastic. Diwali sounds like a little bit like the Dia de las Velitas because they light candles and oil lamps. Now I want you to write your own letters, responding to your pen pals. Activity 3. Now is the moment to complete the activity. Ahora es momento de completar la actividad. Write a short letter about your favorite celebration. What do you like to do on that day? Do you celebrate with your family or friends? Escribe una carta corta acerca de tu celebración favorita. ¿Qué te gusta hacer en ese día? ¿Celebras con tu familia o con amigos? Let's listen to what our special guest has to say about celebrations. Hi, my name is Claudio Rosca. My favorite celebration is Halloween. And by the way, it is coming up soon. It is my favorite because I get to see lots of different and spooky costumes. I get to see children out on the streets singing the trick or treat Halloween and getting candies and being happy when they get their treats. So that's why I love uh, this celebration. Let's listen to the following tips to learn English. And finally, here's a special tip to help improve your English. The difference between see, look, and watch. Both see and watch can be used for television, movies, or other things on a screen. Look is much different. Look basically means to turn your eyes towards something. So when someone tells you to look, they want you to turn your eyes, turn your head, or somehow make it so that you can see what they're talking about. For example, look at that bird. It's so big. Watch can also be used in the sense of cuidar. So if I want someone to watch my son, then I'm going to have them take care of my son. Thank you, Alex. Si desean aprender más sobre el inglés con el profesor Alex Baer, pueden encontrar unos videos informativos en YouTube con Baer English, B-A-R-E, y también en TikTok. Bye. 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 Thank you for listening to English Radio Barranquilla. Please complete your worksheet with your teacher's help. Gracias por escuchar a English Radio Barranquilla. Ahora puedes completar las actividades con la ayuda de tu profesor. Este es un programa realizado por la Alcaldía de Barranquilla y el Instituto de Idiomas de la Universidad del Norte, con el apoyo de Uninorte FM Stereo. 
hace parte de la serie English Radio Barranquilla, que tiene una duración de 10 episodios.